You want to try the fawns, though. We can do that one another time. Let's give the fawns a go on the strengthy boy and try to reflect some damage. Fawn Zora, 8% of an enemy's melee attack. So it doesn't work on ranged, bear that in mind. So if you have ranged mobs hitting you, it's going to do jack all. And there's going to be at least half range mobs, most likely. The pillar doesn't seem to benefit from it, unless you actively give it to it as a reward. Yes, Master? What do you want? Why are you poking me again? I could take the base damage. The armor's tempting. Gotta find a way to utilize the armor to do damage somehow. Ten armor up to thirty four percent. Remember armor has diminishing returns though. So the more you keep increasing it, the less you get from it. Oh, that's a big lad, isn't it? Let's see if my fawn is going to do enough against this guy. Oh dear, it might be time to die. He's got like seven more bolts he can do. Guess we're going to have to kite for a while. You guys wanted fawn Zora, you got fawn Zora. You wanted it, you got it. I'll get rid of the little guys, so it's less hitting me. Oh, another level as well. He's going to bolt me the split second I attack. Just kind of have to brute force go for him now. Use up everything and then kite for a long time. You can't sort of go in between because he gets all those bolts off in between. One more bolt, absorb, and then a couple of hits and then run. That'll do. And now we play the waiting game. It'd be funny if I can cut him off from actually walking to the pillar. I'm going to lose immediate health because the first attack he's going to do is going to be a bolt. And then he's going to have another bolt after that. So I need about four or five seconds left on this Shimmer Glaze so I can stay in the fight. It's pointless just initiating the fight to lose so much health to bolts. Now we can go for it. Or he can just go to his home planet. The longer I wait, the better, really. Okay, here we go. Just have to go at it. I've got one heal from this. Hmm. Might be able to do it. Probably not, to be honest. You have to run. And that's annoying because I have to go get two of these. Because remember, if I just go in, he bolts. I lose 100 health or whatever, 75 health. Might not be able to auto attack into death before the second bolt comes through. So this needs to be on a four second cooldown. Four to five. Wait for it. That'll do it. Then we can take this more comfortably in between. Managed to get away with it anyway, but no point taking massive chances. The problem with the armor is it's a bit... Immolation. I have to activate that one. That's not permanent immolation. Drunken Brawler gives me dodge and a chance to crit, which is sick. For like the late game, maybe. Emulation is interesting. But, I don't know. Not Rejuve, no. I'll go more drunk. It's between these two that I'm struggling with. If you dodge, then of course, the opponents don't get their attack and don't get the fawns off. But you still want to dodge anyway, whenever you can. Because it's just beneficial in general. Plus, the Drunken Brawler isn't just flat dodge. It gives you a chance to crit. Swobu, 
Immolation is only effective in melee. Not so much in this, I don't think. Well, we'll see. That's a big siege boy already. Look at that. Look at the size of this lad. Jesus Christ. This is going to be so slow. At least he does some splash damage. Jesus Christ. It's going to take me seven years to clear these levels. That's one way to do it. Squish. That's cheating. You attacked from behind yourself. What you want? Meat wagon cheats. He actually killed himself, so I didn't get experience from that either. <laughs> Give me strength per level. That'd be fucking awesome. Ah, no strength per level. Spiked carapace. I guess we have to take that because it's reflective. Otherwise, I was going to go for the mana on the pillar so I can keep myself alive. There you go. There's the two reflex. Small as they may be. I don't even know if I'll live the next level. I increased the difficulty when I took the armor. Ooh, they got poison boy. I don't like that. I'm just going to take ages to kill him. This is not good. Just gotta hit and run. The armor really helps though a lot. Come on, one more hit. Gets rid of poison snack. He's actually tanking quite a lot here. Damage intake is quite minor. They're chipping away. If I want to be really boring, not that I want to be, but successful, I suppose, might be the other term. Let's just go AFK now. Lol. Because the damage I'm taking from the spider is 4 damage per hit. I'm regen in 2. And the 100 health I get from this would be more than the spider can do in the cooldown between it. It's about calculating your odds and utilizing them. <laughs> Whilst you've got time to do it. I kind of have to do it. He's got quite a chunk of health though, isn't he? That's the problem. It's taking me a while to build it up. It's not fun. I don't want to have to do it. He's going to kill himself on my spikes. <laughs> ah, I'll pretty much just finish him off in a moment. Do I get experience if he kills himself? Probably. One more. Really? There we go. We did get experience. Well, Mana Shield's back on the menu. I don't think Mana Shield, like, Fawn's or and... Mana Shield's a weird one, because I think, like, armor doesn't get taken into account when you have Mana Shield. Stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know if it actually works with any of that stuff. Thunderclap certainly is good, though. It's like a cheap sp spell to sort of slow enemy attacks. Which, of course, you might be like, Oh, you don't want to slow them. You don't want to dodge versus them, because you want to do damage to them with their attack. But you still need to survive. Yeah. I gotta try the mana shield. I'm a bit worried though. 
Mostly because I'm curious. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't work with armor. It doesn't work with, like, reflex. It's a shame because that's another thing they could have done with Reforge. is just to, like, top up some of the abilities and make them actually work properly. I don't like the look of this. Oh, we got a Siege Boy, so that could help. Got to get rid of this guy. I guess I may as well use that. Huh? Jesus Christ, this is going to take ages. Oh, I'm dead anyway. This is real slow going. Mr. Siege Boy, why are you not attacking the units? Mr. Siege Boy. What you doing? God, I need something that can actually kill these levels because this is, this is painful. Oh, you didn't get a hit off there. No. You were the chosen one. Gotta get rid of this guy somehow. He's gonna bolt me. That guy's gonna bolt me. That guy's gonna stun me if I go in for an attack. So it really sucks. There's not, not really an easy way to engage here. Success. We've got to go for this. We just have to now. Bolt. Before I even get one a hit off. Oof. Get rid of this guy. Unholy Friends is on that. Have to wait that out. I think I'm probably going to die to Decay, to be honest. These guys do a little bit of damage, but there's still some damage there. That needs to be removed. I guess i got to get rid of Demolisher, because he's doing pretty much jack shit to help me. So minor compared to the other guy. Look forward to getting bolted again. So much mana on this guy. Unholy Frenzy just keeps on chugging. It's the gift that keeps on giving, apparently. There we go. Finally run out. I need help. You need an item that can help you kill mobs. That does single target damage or something like that, don't you? Maybe that you start off with, so when you have to do these slow builds, you got something that you can actually utilize against the enemy. No, oh, decay time. Jesus, he's got so many bolts left. This is disgusting. How do I even do this? I'll get one level out of this. Gonna make all the difference. 40 seconds until we decay. There's a chance. I am doing some damage to him. I can't really ever turn away to fight now. I just have to stay on him. Because the time is gonna get me anyway. It's only gonna get worse. Let's go adjust him. Easy. <sighs> yeah, I won't be able to kill the boss, will I? Good point. Oh, no. What do I even pick? I want the strength per level, but it's not going to save me. That's annoying. Upgrade all abilities, I guess. The mana regen for pillar could help sort of generate enough mana health. Mana regen or upgrade abilities. Upgrade abilities, will it even do anything at the moment? You have to upgrade it a lot. Fine, mana regen on pillar. Let's go. Let's get that health keeping me alive. I need to get something good at the end of this turn as well, don't I? Big ass mobs. Yeah, the boss is going to be really strong, isn't he? I don't like that slow. Oh, God. Oh, he heals. <laughs> this is so bad. 
I have to kill this guy in one fell swoop. But I'm not sure I can do it. He's got those constant heals. And this guy is bashing the shit out of me. Oh, this is brutal. Do we have enough to get him? I don't think we have enough to get him before he gets another heal. And then I'm out. Yeah. I need another heal, but like more like five seconds instead of six seconds. Yeah, it's going to be close. Especially if this guy gets bash box. Oh, the level helps like a lot there. Look at him sniffing my blood. Master? Thinks he can take me. Huh? Stupid bar. Yes. Just to help me on the boss level, I need to regenerate a bunch. I think I'm dead. It's really hard to build like this because you have to play an incredibly slow, hard game and then you might just die anyway for the potential of a good reward later on. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you sweat. Hello, Joss. Is there even a goal? Yeah, I think there used to be a boss. Shame there's not an item that can give me damage to the DOS. Oh, what would have been nice? It has to be the mana regen, I think. Direct strike, Tyrell. It never ends. I have to trust that the mana regen of the pillar is going to sort of keep me going against the boss. I mean, the mana regen on the pillar makes sense as well, with being a tanky kind of guy. So trying to heal and reflect damage back. Uh, it's a pig. Interesting pig. So far, so good. Not too problematic. Oh, he's life draining. That's... Yeah. Can't do much about that. <sighs> this is not bad, actually. Could be way worse. Pillars saving the day. distance to run back immediately whilst the drain is still going off but it wears off because the barrier is broken fine tuned I have to keep the pillar alive though he gets to do a hit every now and then because of that stupid life drain but he won't be able to do life drain anymore I don't think unless it's 75 mana here on this Please give me strength per level now. We need loads of strength per level. Loads of it. Flat strength. Kind of bad, to be honest. I'm almost into the spend all gold on 1.4 times strength, but it's kind of not great, however. Yeah, isn't that like 14 strength anyway? What is it? 60 strength. What is 40% of 60? So 50% is 30. So it would probably be something like 22 or something, or 24. So let's say it's 24 strength. Use all your gold, or 14 strength. I guess the 14 strength and save me some gold. It's not great. But yeah, maybe it works. I want the strength per level though, so we can really bump that up. 
the earlier the better. I think we take the bonus health from the pillar or the base damage. Based damage. Hmm. Pillar needs to live though. Because it's got that mana regen and I sometimes need to kite. You guys like the base? Uh, base damage, fine. Whatever. Zug -zug. Nerds. Slow move. Yes. Dabu. Huh? Noctar. I want to keep this pillar alive, though. Zug -zug. Noctar. Dabu. Dabu. Noctar. Zug -zug. Huh? What you want, master? Why are you poking me again? Big lad. Yes. Big lass. Slow move. You do some heals on the pillar. Use that. Does the pillar reach me? Yeah. I thought it had a pretty good range. Yeah, she's annoying. Just gonna commit to her. Bit risky though. That life drain going. I have to run. I can't finish her off in those auto attacks. Come on in, pillar. Start healing me, you twat. Oh, she's annoying. She gets longer range on that life drain for sure. Look at that. She finished sucking me. I've reflected some damage back to these mobs though, haven't I? I haven't even hit them once. Huzzah! Get the range mobs down, because they don't reflect damage. I don't reflect damage on them. Now, oh, big lad. Nice range on her head skills. Yeah, she's got a long neck. Time for defending. I guess anti magic shell or crit. Crit's the most interesting because it gives me late game potential versus bosses that might not die from their own attacks. Anti-magic shell, I'm worried it falls off. If there's like bosses that like can coil you for like 2,000 damage or something, it's like it's going to use up the anti-magic shell straight away. Yeah, everyone likes the crit. Smoke bomb is actually pretty good, but it might be a bit overkill now. It makes the enemy miss their attacks whilst you stand inside of it. Oh, Chimera. Steven. Steven the Chimera. I have to be close enough to aggro these. Come here. Everyone come to me. Which means I can't stand next to the pillar when I do this, obviously. Let's get some heals from the pillar then whilst it's not money. So I should be able to handle most mobs, as long as their damage isn't too crazy. Just a bit slow. Slow boy. Like the video for slow builds. It's like he's trying to stall. Still need some strength per level. Y'all got any of that strength per level?
Can there be only range mobs? Probably. Who's to say? It's weird how their siege attack is the first one. But the actual attack they're using is the second. Couldn't have been using siege damage on me. That didn't seem right. You have to be standing here or here to get the heal. Bit close, isn't it? Well, two agility per level. I'm taking it. It's not strength, but it's... He may be rich, but he ain't happy. Ah, Moonglaive. One of the best items by far. But I can't afford it. <laughs> there was some guy that thought Moonglaive was bad in my last video. Oh my gosh. Some of these backseat gamers have such conviction in how they believe. But you can't spend all day explaining shit to them. They just don't get it. Time to get sucked. It was you. I'm not even sure I can really run out of this. She's got frost arm. I'm slow. By the time I run out, she would have sucked me anyway. Need her to use her mana. And then soak up the pillar. Now you can start healing me. She's used up a lot of her mana. Bit more sucking. I think she's casting frost armor, unless it's you on the left. What oh, the computer got gold for pillaging me? Attacking me. There we go, we can move out of that one now. And that's her mana gone. Don't even read YouTube comments anymore. I saw some weirdos on an LTD video saying he's surprised you didn't lose your house because you're too greedy in the game. I don't remember ever seeing that comment. Need healing. Badly. More agility. Look at the attacks. We're getting quicker. Day three. Oh, Jody. Now we're getting somewhere. In a way, if I can survive it, it would be good to get minus 50% health. Not that I want that, but. And the times 100% experience. Now I've got some strength and agility per level. Ideally, you get tons of them stacked up and then get it, but I don't. Tr I'm surprised I even got. I think he, he reduced the chances of getting them, to be honest. Mortar team. Mortar! Come on. Got rid of Mortar Boy. Now we can heal. Get rid of Shredder. Well, yeah, Impa level would be nice as well, but like I said, I'm, I don't know. Like, if I can get it. Not sure if you can get it. We've had how many chances? 11 chances, and only one of them was a strength per level. So it's 
Yeah, it's not often. He's holding his own now. He's got a decent chunk of armor. What do you want? He looks the part, doesn't he, as well? For what you would imagine. Super tanky boy. These guys in Warhammer probably take ages to kill. Got items here. Plus 80 damage might be worth taking. Just for the time being. Ah, uh, you can get 1.4 times. Isn't that like not 80 damage? <laughs> oh, there you go. 46 base damage. It obviously increases the difficulty, but I think we take that. I'm tempted to buy that Seraphim, honestly. Unless I see something super sexy or awesome. Don't know about the hood and cunning. Let's go with that. Big damage. Maul of Strength, yep, you can get 20% cleave if I can ever find that item. I'll lose 900 gold if I have to sell this item, which isn't a huge amount, but it is significant. Quite a lot of mobs there. Stupid fucking siege twat on the back there. This guy's doing most of the splash, from what I can see. Look at that. He's splashing like a chad. I was wondering how these guys were taking so much damage. And now we know. It's just spitting poison everywhere. He killed himself on that one. Whoa. Whoa. Frost armor, good for slowing down their attacks. Unholy frenzy, I don't know. Can't I get enough agility to always overcome that? Unholy frenzy shouldn't have too much impact if I have good health regen. No. It's between frost armor and holy frenzy. Frost armor is OP because it does slow down the enemy and they can't do anything if they can stop it. They can't do too much damage to you while you have frost armor, but I can always actively turn frost armor in quotation marks off or just not cast it. A new Thronefall map. Yeah, I haven't played that one in ages. <sighs> I'm struggling here. Yeah, you don't get experience if the Hydra kills the mobs. I don't necessarily want all the experience, though. Uh. Unholy Frenzy. If I'm getting two agility per level, though, which is 10 levels, is 20 more agility. It's not that much. Uh, I think you can take the Frost Armor as an option, honestly. Just in case you need to kite the boss or something. I'll keep it off for now. But so they attack each other. But if, they, if they're a bit more threatening, then I can put Frost Armor on. Yeah, I got Stormgate, but I'm more interested in the custom games of it, not the melee aspect of it. It doesn't grasp me. Are they hitting the pillar? Oh, there we go. We got them on me now. See, we can try Frost Armor now, because I'm taking some damage. I'll have to pop round. I'm going to get killed otherwise. He's a big lad, that guy. Get rid of some small mobs. Whilst getting some healing from the pillar. Stormbolt. Keep moving. Roll over to here. Get rid of these twats. Mm, one of your last storm bolts now at this point. B 
big crit. So that's definitely a tougher level. That one's pretty rigged. There'll be a boss level after this. I wouldn't want anything on autocast typically because the AI will choose when it wants to cast it and it might be a, an inopportune... Remember, when you cast something, it stops your character. You want to have control of when you cast it. Cleave could be really good. Honestly, if I could get a natural cleave, that would be sick. But I only get one more ability. But a natural cleave would be good, because then I can bypass armor. You can get 20% cleave, but it's 20% your damage, not like the 60 to 80% you get from a pit lord. Mirror image. Uh, yeah, mirror image would also be worth it. Hmm. Upgrade all abilities, most likely. Return damage with a pillar. I don't think that counts. I've already... I can do that. Everything's just a bit better now. Boss time. Hello, Rog. Oh, it's a pig. Yes. So far, so good. Those crits are huge. Actually, doing some damage to him. Oh, he's similar to the first boss. So he might have a life drain. The bosses have definitely been more tempered since they were super OP in previous editions. Oh, he does that, does he? Interesting. Shadow Pig. Oof, a dime. Ooh. Strength people level, thank you. Uh, pillar items. Nothing, really. Upgrade all abilities again, yes. 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 Dagger is huge! Huge! Is it though? Is it huge? It's gonna be a lot to fight here. It's me, it's your boy. The Tonk. I can play this build one-handed so far. Try not to get surrounded. Take out range mobs. And, um... Casters, typically. Dog's got some raw. Might want to get the skeletons before they run out. Not desperate for experience, though. What do you mean, what am I doing with the other hand? That's the one on the mouse. Wouldn't even be able to move my character if the other hand was doing something else. Tomorrow, I think, Joss.
I'd be tempted to take that. I think if you reduce the mob difficulty, you get less experience and it gives you more time to get per level like um, rewards when you think of it that way. Plus, there's nothing too exciting there anyway. Hmm. There is that girl that can play the video games telepathically. She has a setup for it. I always thought that would be the future. I don't think it's quite there yet. And yeah, she can do it, but she she's like the only one who's like trained. And it works a very specific way. Like if you can just generally like I think if I'm moving my eyes, I'm just like that thing moves over there, that thing moves over there. Although you wouldn't necessarily want that too much. You'd be darting your eyes everywhere, it'd be fucking annoying. It need, it needs to almost read what you you would want to do without having to move your eyes all over the place. You just like you think it and then it just does it. That would be the future of video games in a lot of ways. You could just sort of read and know what your brain inputs were. Kind of like how I can move my hand here. It's not like I'm saying, hey! Move up! My brain is just literally just telling it to do it. I don't have to look at it or whatever. That's definitely the future. I'll be dead by that point, but it will happen someday. Future generations can enjoy it. Talk to the hand, because the face ain't listening. Do you remember that phrase? Unless you think you made the decision. Well, technically, don't we have that issue anyway, where decisions are made for us before we can actually dis make the choice? Uh, looks like I have to take an ability. I wonder if Dispel Magic is low-key overpowered against, like, bosses in the late game, or they do something and you need to just remove their... I guess it has to be immolation. Permanent immolation, sorry. Because he's a tanky boy. It makes sense. But there's no mirror image, and there's no cleave. There's only so much you can do. Angry Titan. I think I might buy that. It will fall off eventually, but it's going to be good for now. And it, I might get a reward where it's like, I have to spend your gold. Yeah, spell damage build. You just have to spend three weeks building up a tank first. Look at that damage, that'd be quiet. Good stuff. Some int per level, maybe, just to secure. I guess at the moment, mana shield's a bit dead. Unless I can get crazy int. Crazy int. And damage really does the trick. More base damage. It doesn't seem like much compared to what I got from there, but you can get multiplicatives of it, and then it will make more difference. I wonder if that works. Yeah, I should do that before the reward each time. So it might end up multiplicating. Didn't we have this pr thing before? We could probably break it. Gloves was cool as well. I hate how he gets free shots. I hate Siege in this. Siege just sucks so badly. You can hit me. Why is he not hitting me? I'm in range. 
should be hitting me over the pillar. Thank you, girl. What do you want? Huh? Master? What's up? More based damage. Week four, day five, and then you got strength plus one and agility plus one. I suppose very unlucky with the scaling stuff. Yeah, it's just nice to get. It feels nice. You feel like oh, as you reward, as you progress, your character levels up. He's getting more of a bonus for the, you know, the more risky pick earlier on. Any annoying siege in chat? It says zero, didn't it? Oh no, it wasn't zero. That's ten. The number's so small. Five and two. Spend all gold. There's the max health reduction, but it's at like 4,500 now for spell damage. Do we do it? Do we, do we lose 2,250 health for 35% spell damage? Oh, they're all quite bad rewards. I think movement speed has to be the winner there. Has to be. Double. A bit of a daylight robbery. Oh, Moonglaive is back on the menu. I guess I'd take that, to be honest. Didn't see the cleave item, so that won't do. Time for is he like no? Right. I need to test with a melee mob mana shield next time. I can handle better mobs. Who knows if the boss gets exponentially stronger? But life steal probably. That's my healing item. There's the blood feather. There's the shimmer glaze. Do we stack on those? I mean, you can buy them for now. I have to get rid of them eventually, though. Alright, it's you. Big damage. With that 2k crit. Yeah, this boss is getting destroyed. I think his attacks were splashing actually, so he's hurting his own minions. Uh, that's too slow. Could be massively good in the late game. Damn. I think I want to take the strength. I don't like the pillar getting hurt for it, but I kind of want a strength. Should be able to buy flat health for the pillar. 
upgrade all abilities. What do you want? Zug -zug. Noctar. Oh, it could have been the glaive, yeah. Zug -zug. My mana regen is trash. Level 36 now, so it's getting a bit late for plus per level. Not too late though, of course. Depending on how high level you go, but... He's done alright. I had a really rocky start though, as you would expect. Fuck off, Siege. Fuck off, Morty. Fuck off. Get the fuck out. It's a bit spicy though, I have taken some damage here. Name of the map is Subscribe to Witty Warcraft. That's the name of the map. I feel kind of cute and tonky. Ha! <laughs> That's a lot of spell damage, right? Do we try it? See if that kicks up the emulation. It should do, right? It should put 154 on the permanent emulation. This pillar, though, has had better days. That ignore armor. That could be one of the best shits. I, uh, I had I had to see something I was going to sell there. Look at the costs. That could be one of the best items for like the bosses late game. Siege twat over on the right hand side. You gotta attack these mobs because those mobs will hit the pillar otherwise. That's why I'm doing that. Ideally, I just go straight to the siege, but it doesn't work that way. The mobs have a certain radius. If I'm like here and I attack a mob that's here that, and another mob's running towards a pillar here, that's about enough range. That's enough acquisition for, range for the mob to say, hey, you're an all star, get your game on, get paid. I knew you was going to do something like that, because I was getting ready to spend my gold. Yeah. Well, not going to do that one now. Maybe the mob difficulty reduction? I can handle the mobs for the most part, but I don't want to spend my gold on just 15 armor. When everything else is trash. Do I take this? 25% of your health to do it. Equal to 50% of your maximum health. It's your current health as well. I don't know if that's worth it against bosses or not. Because aren't bosses going to have more health than me? Like in a late game? Fawns works with swell damage, does it? Steven. Alright, you maniac. Let me just blow my gun here. He is absolutely trouncing these mobs at the moment. Hmm. Kill Mame is there. I can actually buy that. I'll have to sell something there. Hmm. 50 health regen is a lot, isn't it? For 10 armor? I don't like losing armor, but 50 health is a lot. You don't normally get that much. 8 damage. Yeah, I don't need that. Mana regen on the pillar, though. Or 50 health regen. 50 health. It's a lot. It is a lot. He should be pretty fucking tanky with 50 health regen. I feel like that's a lot. Right? Even for 10 armor loss. I can always get the armor back somehow. You like the abilities? <laughs> Stone of wood. Oh my gosh, fine. I was kind of really honestly leaning towards the health regen there. Yes. No Boom! Nobody see. Nobody side. Biting, hacking, biting, burning. I can steal life. We should be good with Mr. Angry Totem. 
Doktar. Smobu. Zaksak. Dabu. Zaksak. Smobu. Doktar. Dabu. Ringblade is bad. Lord. I almost like. I'm like still gonna be manipulating here. Oh my god, 176 damage. There's not gonna be enough time to do this. Spend all your gold to increase. multiply your base damage. Oh, it wasn't. That's why I'm holding on to this to try and manipulate it. I'm gonna go with this health and the pillar. I want my pillar to not die. The only problem is, is I had to reduce its health a couple of times, didn't I? Mm, mm. The enchanted. Was it 125? Yes. I didn't even notice the spell damage, to be honest with you. But I don't know. I like the pillar. Remember, if the pillar dies, I still die. And it's quite easy for the pillar to take damage sometimes. Just even one or two hits. And that could be a huge. Just don't let the pillar die. Yeah, well, easier said than done. I can spend gold to give the pillar hell, but not like perma total hell. Mana shield OP. Half your maximum mana. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Spend all your gold. That's a... Uh, I still got a good chunk of gold, though. 3,200. But I think I should take it. Because we need to keep up in our armor as well. Even if it does burn through 3,200. Yeah, you could have spent that gold to rate. You could also shut the fuck up. I'm doing it. It's dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm your friendly streamer. I'm I'm your streamer that's very nice to you guys all the time. Always always whispering sweet nothings and telling you everything's fine. I don't ever don't ever give you the harsh realities of life. Gotta say, the spell damage is definitely doing something though, especially versus the little mobs. Do you really need reflect damage? Because it just feels you just need permanent immolation. It's basically doing more than the Fawn's aura and spike carapaces, right? You got a feeling that it's gonna be the next one, yeah. I've got it, it's ready, it's ready to go, it's ready to pop. Nope, still hasn't happened yet. It's only free difficulty for 70 base damage. That's a lot now, so I'm taking that. Hello, Gully. How are you? How you been? How's your mum? Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I went there. I went there so quickly, didn't I? I didn't even hold back. Boss wave. Do I think the cleave from Maul of Strength would be worth it with cleave attack passive? Yeah, probably. Cleave is just one of those kind of special OP things, isn't it? Quick mana shield. They're CCing me. No. They got 50 armor now, so yeah. I think you need that item that can just remove their armor. That's the one way to get past these big bosses. And blow up loads of damage. Of course, this kind of gets weaker as the game goes on. This item is still really nice, but is 400 or 800 damage going to be enough in a couple of weeks' time? Stop hitting yourself. Spell damage, or just four armor. 
I'm not sure I want to take this one. Because last time I took plus 20% spell damage, it reduced my spell damage and made lightning shield stop working, right? I don't trust Overclocked. If I got plus 20% spell damage, I would take this. But as it's programmed at the moment, I don't think it works correctly. And I also think it makes it worse for you if you take that. So sadly... That would be nice, but I'm not going to take it, because I think it's going to screw me over. Yeah, it's the armor, really. Not necessarily the pots for gold. You could do the pots. It's probably a fair bit of gold. Four armor isn't much, but it's still plus extra armor. We need to catch up with what the bosses got. Remember, those bosses are like 50 armor. I think we need to sort of keep up with how they are. Flat spell damage way better as well, yes. The percentage stuff... Oh, it's another kill mame. I wasn't expecting that, Stephen. Um, I clicked on that just before this went through. Sadly, didn't manage. You can see this hasn't been used, as far as I can see. Four intelligence per level, though. Fuck. Fifteen armor is so much, though. Ah. Oh. Damn, man. Four int per level... I mean, best case scenario, what, I get another 20 levels? That's 80 intelligence. Is it really that necessary? It's If I go higher than 20 levels, though, it is. The armor is really kind of tempting, though. Armor is always good. I might just be able to get flat intelligence as an option, though. Later on, it might just be like plus 32 intelligence or something. So that might have to be the way I need to do it. Yeah, the poor mana shield never really got to get going, did it? What you want? There's still a chance for it, but it didn't really. No Technically, I did use mana shield quite a lot at the start. To help me out. Master. Zug -zug. Slow no 56 armor now, plus... Any armor I get from Spike Carapace. That's a big ghoul. Can you see the numbers on that ghoul? I see so many spell numbers. Is it 176 damage he's doing back to himself, I assume? So if I activate mana, will we see... 176 has disappeared. Did you see that? I'm pretty sure that disappeared for a couple of hits. Ooh. That's the deciding one. Probably don't need that now. I get four strength per level. Oh, you probably want to take upgrade all abilities. Yeah, it's a bit of a trap, isn't it? Master, Doktar, Slobo, Zug -Zug. I should have. I think that's always worth picking that one if you got a bunch of per level. If you've got like seven, six, five per level, something like that, you'll get really good value from that. As long as you don't die from like the 4,500 health, you can kind of get back over time with your strength per level. I'm surprised I've lived this long, actually, so it's pretty good. I was supposed to do a spell damage build, but it just didn't work properly. Hyper tanky fiend. Foul beast. There you go. 500 health for 120 intelligence? I think we'd take that. I could honestly take the 10 armor as well for 7 difficulty. I just have to reduce the difficulty again afterwards. But I think I want that, just so I've got that in the bag. 
got a lot more intelligence than I thought I was going to get. That will shut him up. Could use with um, a multiplication of strength now. Look at that mana regen. Bit better. He's got 10,000 plus health. I'm going to have to quickly decide to sell something. It might have to be the Angry Tone. Not that I ever want to. But if I get that mine, the one that beats the boss's armor. I don't desperately need it right now. But I will definitely need it coming up. It's not here though. So, Oh, I guess we take the plus 155 spell damage. Master? Zugzug. Oh, I didn't do the Angry Titan before rewards. Yeah, I forgot to do it that time. Not that I've ever got to pay off from it. Maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, there's a sense of not cheating. Like a filthy cheater. Got stunned just before I could attract all of the ones on the right. It's a bit cheeky. With his stuns. One more stun. Just on time. Hmm. Plus hundred percent max health. It probably could be exploited somehow. But I'm not thinking of it right now. The sacrificial skull. Yes, Swobu, Zug Zug, Loktar. This pillar's taking a long time to heal. Master, Dabu, Swobu, Zug Zug, Zug Zug. It's pig. Swobu, Loktar, Dabu. Sixty-nine percent damage reduction. Doesn't really have a way to deal with people casting slow or debuffs on him. This character just has to kind of deal with it. Could always get the involve boots. Kill Mame keeps coming back up now. Ah, I might go with the attack cooldown. Or just more life still. His attack feels pretty quick. Life still is always good just to keep stacking for like that long term. Yeah, life still. A bit harder to kind of get, I think. Rainbow Pot is kind of a bit weaker now, because we're much later in the game. Yes. Master Swobu. Don't know if Life Steel works with spell damage. Who bloody knows? It's a very easy level this one actually. Oh, 
Look at the health on this guy, though. Five hundred eighty health per tick. If I can get another plus forty percent on the pillar without having to choose between another difficult option, that'd be good. Be a big chunk of health for the pillar. It's got good armor. Shouldn't have done that. Well, I guess some life steal again. And then hope I don't die to the boss. Return damage on the pillar. Hmm. Double. I don't know the shadow orbs work. Master. That's a hundred percent damage. Reason. Could try the sacrificial skull to see how that works out, whether it's an item I really want to use, since there's nothing else to buy. Do 1,600 damage. But obviously it sacrifices my health. It's because they don't have armor. It's draining my mana. Come close. That's why, yeah, Cleave does not Oh, they're doing some damage to me, whatever that is. I think it's the life drain that's doing that. I've almost got this guy down there. Oh, I think I'm forced to run, unfortunately. See, that was a good decision. I have to kill that guy somehow without getting life drained by fucking center. Shit! That's so much! Santa OP. Santa OP. What can you do? The life drain was what got me there. I don't have an answer. Even if I kill the other guy, Santa just turns there, does life drain, and absorbs like 1,000 health a tick, doesn't he? What was that? That was insane, that life drain. That was like way higher stack than the other life drains that I've had to deal with in the past. This is the problem, isn't it? It's kind of like the... Uh, the power spike, you can't predict it, you can't know it. I can't do anything against that. <laughs> what can I do? I guess a bash, maybe, against the... Yeah, you'd have to have a spare spell for bash anytime he does life drain. But life drain's got such a quick cooldown, you'd have to have the bash available every time he does it. Hmm. Well, I thought I'd get a bit further. I didn't think that's how I would die, but... Yeah, mirror image is OP. There's always that. Well, there you go. I think there was potential to go further with that build. I just think I got a bit screwed over. The skull kind of worked, but kind of didn't do anything for me. It was worth finding out, though. But it was the life drain that killed me. And I didn't have an answer to the life drain, so I guess now I know about it. It is what it is. Can't do much about that. Santa wins.